Hey guys, Dr. Scott Nall here from TheVillageOsteopath.com. So today what we're going to talk about is the HCG diet. Maybe you've heard about it, uh, maybe some of your friends have done it, maybe you've Googled it and checked it out a little bit, and you might have some questions about this thing. So what I want to do after the intro here is I'm going to explain a little bit about the diet, its history, and I'm also going to talk about why you might want to do it, why you might not want to do it, and what are the takeaway lessons from this. So hang around and we'll get down to it. All right, guys, the HCG diet. So many of you have probably heard about it or seen it on the internet or maybe had a friend who's done the HCG diet and lost a ton of weight. So I want to talk a little bit about the history of the diet and what you might want to avoid about it, some of the inconsistencies about it, uh, some of the things that aren't true, and uh, all that good stuff. So let's start with the history first. So the HCG diet was uh, developed quite a long time ago by an endocrinologist. I believe his name was Dr. Simeon. Uh, and so he was a, doing some work over in India. And one of the things he was really surprised about was there were a lot of people over there who were malnourished and not doing well. But despite that, the women still seemed to have uh, normal pregnancies. Their babies came out uh, doing fine, uh, at least compared to what he was used to. And so he was really surprised about that. So he started thinking about it from an endocrinology standpoint, which means the hormones. And he decided that the HCG hormone, which is the one that goes really high during pregnancy, uh, it does something unique to the, to the muscle cell. He thought that it helped spare the muscle while a person was burning fat. And so what he was talking about here as since these ladies were undernourished, the HCG hormone was causing them just to lose their fat and not their muscle, and therefore they maintained their health uh, in, in, in a little bit better shape than some other people who weren't pregnant at the time who didn't have high levels of HCG. So he took that theory back to his medical practice and started doing HCG injections into patients for helping with weight loss. And so when he did that, he found that at least from the way he just described it or understood it, is that people lost weight um, more from fat and, and less from muscle. And why that is important is that typically when we quote unquote diet, when we calorie restrict back, we tend to lose mass from both our fat and also from our muscles. Sorry, none there, but um, we tend to lose from both. And depending on kind of your genetics and, and kind of what you're eating, it, it, the ratios can shift a little bit, but normally it's about half and half what's going on. So what happens is that fat cells tend to be lower metabolism than muscle cells. And what does that mean? It means that if you have more muscle, you burn more calories by doing nothing than someone who has more fat. In other words, your basal metabolic rate, the amount of calories you need to burn just to keep your normal uh, cellular processes moving, you know, keep your heart pumping, your lungs breathing, things like that, uh, you burn more calories when you have more muscle than you do if you have fat. So if you start going on a diet, and you start calorie restricting and you start losing muscle and fat, when you're done quote unquote dieting and start maybe going back to your old ways or maybe not even going back to your old ways, just kind of getting a, eating a little bit more than you were when you were trying to lose the weight, because you have less muscle mass at the end of that diet program, you're gonna gain it back very quickly. And that's why we see, you know, you hear this all the time. Well, you know, I went on such and such diet and I lost 30 pounds and then I gained it all back and five more. Um, well, there's two reasons. Number one, you tend your metabolism drops as you age, and then also you drop probably some muscle mass going on that diet. So now your metabolism is much lower than it was before. So unless you keep your calories restricted way back, uh, which most people can't do for long periods of time, uh, you're just going to gain it all back. So the HCG diet in this regard, we think, might help you lose more fat and less muscle. So when things kind of get back to normal or a new normal, hopefully, that you won't gain it all back. Uh, so the diet consists of skipping breakfast, and then you're mainly going to be eating about four ounces of meat for lunch and dinner, along with green vegetables. Um, there's, a, there's some other little caveats to it, including some fruits and things like that. Most of it's going to be, uh, you know, low carbohydrate vegetables and four ounces of meat for your lunch and dinner. Now, when, when uh, Dr. Simeon first came out with this, he said, well, that's about 500 calories a day. Uh, we didn't really know how many calories were in food back then. Uh, if you kind of look at what the calorie content of most of this food is now, you're probably looking around 1,000 calories a day as opposed to 500. So um, even though our literature is still here in the office will say 500, just know it's probably really more 1,000. We're just trying to keep true to the author's, um, uh, to the original founder's 
uh, plan, so the way he described it. Uh, but it is a little more like a thousand, so that's a lot m more double, you know. So it, it can be done in that regard. Plus the HCG injection, or if you're doing it sublingually, we think acts as an appetite suppressant to a certain degree. Um, so it does help in that regard. And then of course you have to drink plenty of water as well. All right, so you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, this sounds crazy. Um, you know, what what kind of diet is this? What's it good for? Um, I hear this a lot on TV stations when they see a celebrity or someone who's lost a ton of weight in a short amount of time. Well, that was unhealthy. And they usually have some doctor come on there and talk about healthy weight loss or, you know, doing it the right way. Well, you know, the right way is whatever way it works to me. I mean, it, that's, that's kind of the right way. I mean, I, I don't know if that physician has a lot of success uh, having people lose weight, but uh, it's hard to do. And so if you can get some weight off, um, it's great. And there's another reason people say, well, you know, that's going to slow your metabolism down. If you lose all that, uh, you know, you're going to go into a starvation state. It takes a long time to get into a starvation state. That's way overplayed. Um, your metabolism is not going to drop that much. In fact, you're using the HCG to learn to lose more fat than, than muscle. Um, you're going to, you should see hardly any drop in your metabolism at all. That being said, I normally don't recommend people severely calorie restrict for about over a month. Once you kind of hit that month standpoint, things can start to slow down. So, you know, what is the HCG diet good for in that case? Well, there's a few things it's really good for. Number one, it helps you lose a ton of weight in a short amount of time, which is a good motivator to keep going. Some people get very discouraged when they're only losing like a pound a week or two pounds a week, um, even though that is a good amount of weight loss. I mean, a pound a week is 500 calories a day that you've cut off your diet plan normally. So when you start losing more than that, that's a severe calorie restriction. Uh, but some people, they want to see big results quick. And if they don't, they tend to kind of drop off and not keep going. Uh, some people don't want to do a year plan. They want to get done now. Or there's some people who might just have an event that's coming up. They might be having a wedding coming up, or they need to get into a certain kind of type of clothes, or a swimsuit, or they have an anniversary coming up, or a, a school reunion, and they want to show up everybody and show how they've stayed fit for the last 10 years. Whatever that is, um, the HCG diet is good for a quick weight loss um, goal that's, that's not too hard to achieve. Um, beyond that, I do think there are a couple other things that the diet is good for. And number one is finding out what a normal portion size really looks like. If you're eating four ounces of meat and vegetables, you're going to look at your plate a lot differently than you were before when you went out to, you know, Applebee's or Chili's or Texas Roadhouse and they, you know, they bring the big blooming onion or whatever and plop it down in front of you uh, and it's just massive. You're going to look at your portion sizes much different. You're going to say, hey, you know, uh, I don't need all this food. I mean, I personally, when I did the HCG diet, it really was opening my eyes to something I was having trouble with. I thought about it, you know, in my day-to-day -day work, I sit in a chair and walk to a table back and forth and it's like two feet. That's what I do for eight hours out of the day is I sit in a chair and then I get up and walk to a table and then come back. Um, so it's not like I'm real busy. I don't need a whole lot of calories to burn uh, off all day. I don't need a whole lot of quote unquote fuel, so to speak. So it helped me get those calories uh, in the portion size a lot more, I, I guess, uh, a lot more in tune with what I really needed. The next thing that's really good is that if you use the maintenance month and the maintenance month is your month number two and basically you've stopped the HCG you're starting to add foods back in really slowly your calorie count comes up a little bit um, or a lot depending on who you are you should be using a diary during this time to find out what foods cause you to gain weight and which ones don't um, you know nutritional studies are are just horrible because all of us are different usually they're based on huge populations of people and so when you're looking at huge populations, there's going to be a lot of people who kind of fall through the cracks. Or maybe we all do because we're all snowflakes, right? Um, but, you know, we're all special. So, but it does help you find out why you're special. In other words, uh, maybe potatoes are not a good thing for you. And you eat a potato and you write it down and boom, you gain three pounds the next day or something like that. You know, calorically speaking, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it could happen. Uh, there's this thought that a calorie is not a calorie. And to a certain degree, that's true. But, uh, you know, you still have to keep an idea of what calories mean, what calories are. But some people tend to respond uh, better or worse to certain foods. And that, that maintenance month really needs to be used to fine-tune that.
All right. So let me just kind of recap real quick. Three main reasons why I think the HCG diet is great. Number one, it's very motivating and gives you a rapid amount of weight loss in a short amount of time. Uh, number two, it's able, it allows you to identify certain foods that might not be good for you or maybe who just don't uh, metabolically work for you. And then number three, and I think this is the most important, is it helps re-equilibrate your brain and your eyes to what a normal portion size is. If you have any other questions, uh, please give our office a call, 317-491-5272, or shoot us an email at info at villageosteopath.com. We'd be glad to have a consultation with you and go over uh, any of these things we talked about today. And uh, you know, if you want to start on the diet plan, the HCG diet plan, give us a call. We'd be glad to help you and walk you through that. Uh, it's very safe. It's very doable. We have people that uh, are success stories all the time. And then after that's over, we'll be happy to transition you into a normal nutritional program where you can kind of get back things back to normal and move it in the right direction. Um, please like, share, and subscribe because we need more, more, uh, more of those at all time. It was good seeing you guys. Have a great day.